I'm Jamie Gold, the 2006 World Series of Poker champion. Hi Jamie. Well, I think most of our viewers, if not all of them, would know who you are by now. And it's been a pretty exciting year, a uh, couple of years for you. What have your highlights been? <laughs> it's me. Uh, probably, uh, you know, helping raise uh, over a hundred million dollars for charity seems to be uh, the most, you know, exciting part of what I do with my life. Um, I've just been so lucky. You know, my, my whole life is. Uh, has been very fortunate, so... Um, so you just feel like you've been caught up in a whirlwind in the last two years? Yeah, but it's wonderful. You know, it's great. Uh, I get to travel the world and, and help people and play poker, which I love, and, uh, you know, do all the chat shows, and uh, it's, it's just a lot of fun. And if you could go back and change anything about the last two years, what would you change? Well, I'd, I'd still have my father with me. Um, but I, I don't think like that because it's not possible. You know, I just I just want to make sure that I do my best to, uh, you know, be the best human being that I can be for the rest of my life. What kind of goals do you have for, for say, the next few years or so? I want to affect, uh, you know, as much change as possible in, in helping to find cures for, uh, you know, I work for, uh, for the MDA ALS division and I work for uh, Michael J. Fox's Parkinson's Foundation and Monto Williams. Uh, MS Foundation and I'm hoping that in my lifetime you know there might actually be a cure uh, for these things so I feel like that's that's my goal um, but uh, specifically to get there I'm, uh, I'm producing a new TV show which is about poker and celebrities and charity um, which will hopefully raise a lot of awareness and a lot of money for these charities and, um, and we'll have a lot of fun doing it. We're going to go to all the biggest events in the world and, uh, and film these TV shows there. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun. It'll be a good, uh, good couple of years. What's your interest in coming to CAP and speaking here? Uh, I felt that, um, one, I never really said thank you to all of the online you know, gaming business, which is by far the reason why there was 12 million dollars for me to win you know if it wasn't for online poker I never would have won all of that money so I felt like a, a responsibility to come and they wanted me here you know they asked me to come so for me to donate my time um, everyone's been so kind to me and very generous and very hospitable and it's a lot of fun I've never been to uh, Barcelona mm -hmm. so I'm having a great time except for some food poisoning yesterday oh no really yeah that's not a good start, is yeah, it? Yeah, they say uh, don't eat at the casino. Uh, we'll take that advice. <laughs> what about the industry then? Like, what's kind of buzz as far as you're, from where you're sitting or standing? Um, well, you know, there, there was the unfortunate, uh, you know, scandal with uh, with absolute and ultimate bet, and I think that that's created a lot of problems for online affiliates to create, you know, new business. Um, so I think that's what most people are talking about, and the fact that Rakeback has kind of killed a lot of the business model. Um, that it was such a great idea and well-intentioned, but it's turned out to be a huge mistake. Um, because now everyone expects rake back and you can't make any money if you're giving rake back to all your players. If I could give you an option right now of either going to a casino or playing a poker tournament online, what would you choose and why? Uh, that all depends. Um, how long would I be stuck in the tournament? You know, like if, oh, if it's a one-day tournament, let's say a one-day. I, I would play a tournament online. Um, I would much rather do that. Um, but I like, you know, if if, if it's going to be a tournament that's going to take me ten days, I don't have really have the interest in doing that right now. Um, but for to play online and for six hours, I love it. Um, so you prefer playing online than in person with all the atmosphere and the bars and the feel of the car? No, no, I love both. I love both. Um, I think I'm a much better player in person and I feel like I, it's a much more social aspect to it that I love meeting people and I love, you know, I've made so many great friends just from playing poker that you can't do that when you're playing online, you know. Do you think it gives p poker players a handicap playing online? Because obviously you can't see some, the, you know, the other players' eyes, etc. Yeah, but everyone has the same handicap, <laughs> you know, so not really because we're all doing the same thing, you know. Which online casinos do you play poker at? Um, I've played a lot of them. Uh, I've played on, on Full Tilt and Poker Stars, and I've played on Ultimate Bet. Uh, uh, I've played on almost anyone that's that's invited me to play there. You know. Which is your favorite? 
I don't have a favorite. No. I just, I like playing online. Um, I, I love the fact that I can sit in my pajamas at three o'clock in the morning and play poker. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's a beautiful thing and I want to make sure that anything that I can do to help it continue, uh, I'm more than happy to do, you know. And um, just the last question, do you have any tips for our viewers, any poker tips? Uh, I would say to, uh, to manage your bankroll properly and not play above, you know, your skill level. Um, that if you're winning at a certain level, just stay at that level. Um, too many people, you know, dream about winning a million dollars online. You should do it in tournaments. I don't think in the cash games that there's a lot of ability to beat the best players in the world. I think they're just too good. They play way too many hands. A lot of these guys are playing, uh, and girls are playing, uh, you know, six, eight, ten tables at a time, 24 hours a day, and they're just so good, and they've seen everything, that it's very tough to beat those games. The big, you know, top game of, of any site. So, I would say just stay at your level, and, and you know, if you're making a living at it, you're, you're you know, very fortunate. Is there any message you want to get across about the charities you're involved in, etc.? Uh, yeah, I work for, uh, uh, my main charity is the MDA ALS division, so that's uh, MDA, dash ALS.org um, and it's my father had Lou Gehrig's disease and he died from that and so I'm really hoping to create a lot of more awareness most people didn't even know what it was um, so when I try to explain it to people they don't realize that it's something that you know takes away everything you are in your body but you're mentally still there so you're a vegetable but you're completely there so it's you're trapped as a prisoner in your body um, and it happens to so many people you know there are millions of people affected by this but you know people just aren't aware of it so um, you know it's like any neuromuscular disease you know like Parkinson's or MS it's just it's a horrible thing that people have to go through um, one of my best friends Montel Williams has MS and I watch what he goes through every day just getting himself out of bed is such a hard time for him uh, that any way that we can help raise awareness and create uh, you know more money because the money is what funds the research is what helps the people and it, it's not just throwing money at it it's really helping you know there are such great programs that are helping create a potential cure for these you know horrible diseases that I feel like that if I leave any kind of legacy that that will be it that I really helped change the world in some way or another not by playing poker but maybe by hosting poker tournaments um, and online and you know creating as much money as an awareness as possible for these things. So that, that would be my message. We wish you the best of luck with Thank your charity you. work. Thank you Thank very you much. Thank you so much.